Hello, hope everybody's doing well today. Um, so as I, as the title obviously says, we're gonna law out loud according to uh, Sphix's chagrin. How's it going, guys? I see TKJ. Hello, TKJ, and hello, Sphix. Hello, anybody else in chat? Anyhow. I'm not repeating that, Sphix. I'm eating what you eating. And Sphix, be glad I chose Law Out Loud because my alternative title thinking that I was uh sorry, the alternative title that I was thinking was Bleach Bums instead of Beach Bums. But I figured that would have gone over too many people's heads. Local pastry, nice! Uh, I, can, I don't remember where we left off, but it says day three trial, so. October 19, 9.42 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. I like this guy. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh nothing. Uh, <laughs> Really, it's it's nothing. Right, Mia? Fucking my heads it keeps Oh, I think my headset might be on his last fucking legs. Oh the tarot doctor was taken. Anyway, I just killed a baby. What? How you doing, pterodactyl? Or do you, do you prefer terror? Or do you, how do you prefer your... Wait, Mia? Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Oh, that's grim. A baby Pepega. Oh, I see. Okay. This is no t time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> oh, hi, Sk uh, Skyfer. Sk Sky Skyfer. I'm sorry. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. <laughs> If this has coconut shavings, I will mold. Like in the pastry? What, what, what is the name of the pastry anyways? Just cause edgy to a certain dominance. <laughs> tea, tea posing was so last season. Now, now it's, now it's, uh, would it, would it be gay posing, I guess? It's okay to be gay. It's used to a certain dominance. Alpha Jor. Interesting. This isn't going to be easy. <laughs> Fucking kid. <game. laughs> oh no, the J is like one. I can, uh, at least, at least, like, uh, like put the the. Photonics for it. The photonics? Is that the right word? Phonics? I don't know. H how you pronounce it? So it's Alpha Yor? Alpha BS and it's great? Nice. Where's now in the session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers? Phonetics! That's what it. Yeah, thank you. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. <laughs> Will these nuts... Ah! <laughs> Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. 
I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sel uh, Mr. Twitch Chat to the stand. Or that director. Will that witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? <laughs> you don't know me. I'm the director. I make steel. S I make steel the steel samurai noob raffle. Salmonella. Uh, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were... Eh. Anyways, I'm too powerful? Oh. What are you too powerful for? We were in the meeting until 4. During the meeting, well, pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Could we accuse this guy? Even if he's innocent, he's probably going to do something eventually. Maybe Raxious? Also, how's it going, Raxious? Time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30pm. According to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. I took sleep meds. Ooh. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, let's see how this goes. So this deer is running around 9 that morning. So in the morning I was doing um an action scene run through. I don't think that's anything different. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. <laughs> Hammerdies. <laughs> Fine, just doing some work and I was forced into a play for theater class. Hope the stream goes well. Thanks, Raxious. I hope your, uh, your, uh, production goes well. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word. If I may ask, what's, what was the, the play for? Like, what, like, does it have a title? Therefore, I'm immune to sedatives. Why did it go on so long? I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP insisted, uh, twisted his ankle during the run-through. Let's see. I thus limp. Which, of course, led me to missing my lunch. Roths. <laughs> Roths? Rolling on the floor starving? <laughs> I want to murder this man so badly. Fuck, I... Uh, damn it. I, ha I thought I had the... Twitch face. Damn it, I, I don't. Shit. We're in a class play of Caught in the Net, a sequel to another play by the same guy, Run From Your Wife. Interesting. I've never heard of either of them. A very healthy marriage. <laughs> I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What exactly did they have for lunch? And yeah, my fucking headset's gone again. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my mind. Sorry, I'm doing some headset repair here.
Did they know that about polyamory? <laughs> Is it? No, he leads a double life. Oh. I, I... Exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. The assistant cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning the witness, stood out eating with them. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? The cast list came out. I am the main role for the guy with the second most lines. Oh. Are you, are you not big into, like, theater? It must have been rough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just now you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chalk in my pocket, which I used to stave off starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure there was onto something there. We're in the meeting until four. You know, I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double check on that one. Try the other option. I don't like it, no, I just do it for a free, eh? Okay. I, I, I never liked theater anyways. I, I never, I never joined it. When I, went, when I was in junior high, I had three classes. There was basically the school was divided into three sections: the band class, the art class, and the drama class. I was in the band class. Mr. Manella, hmm? what did you want? When I went to Studio Two, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the one in the employee area. We wait lunch there. Uh, 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 good call. All I ever did was directing fucking Oedipus. Okay. I was so embarrassed so I didn't mention it, but I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, I'd suspected as much. So what exactly did you eat? We took run break during that meeting. I wolfed it down then. Oh, he said there was a break? I'm also sound crew, so that's fun. Hopefully being tone deaf doesn't hurt. I, I totally wish you luck, Raxus. I, I, I couldn't imagine, like, doing that shit. I guess you could always ask Allie for pointers if you needed help with anything, but I... I don't know what, like, the the theater difference is, I guess. No one at Sound Crew knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. What were you discussing? Steel Samurai Story. Oh, Rose, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? What were you up to? Also, welcome Raiders. Steel Samurai Story and our budget. Guess this, the sponsors turned to me and say, Mr. Manella, the scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Hmm. Well, the other guy I'm working has experience with it, so, so it'll probably work out. Hopefully I pray. Good luck, Rax. Gaming. Time to leech. Ha! <laughs> Hi, uh, sorry if I lag. Wi-Fi is unstable right now. I hope I hope it gets better for you, Abby. Also, how's it going? <laughs> Good about you. Also, BRB potty. I'm I'm doing all right, but 
thanks for the images, I guess. <laughs> Skyfear, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, <sighs> thank you. I, I I appreciate the support. I'm I am bad at showing uh, acceptance because half the time I think people should just be saving their money and or uh, spending spending the bits on other people. <laughs> Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break. Or er, well, yeah. Not a one. Sweats. What's he? What's he uh, sweating about so much? I wonder. Thank you for the posture check. Apparently, Skyfear was hosting me when I played TOS. Now I'm hosting you because of a raid. Okay. If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? <laughs> Oops, Raffle. I hate this. I hate this so much. I got a rare achievement on Steam, lost, but got a rare achievement. Uh, you just said a rare achievement twice, but what achievement? Well? Um... Mr. Manel, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. To take a break, one of them could have gone from uh, to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well, Mr. Manel, your testimony, please. <laughs> oh, Edgeworth. I'm about to slap that stupid... I was gonna say a slap that a uh, prosecutor's been off of him, because I have a defendant's one, but I don't don't see a prosecutor's one on him. From beyond the grave, save your target while dead. Nice. What's worse is that my own uh, target's teammate killed me night one. Wow. Okay. Uh oh. Edgeworth is laughing. <clears throat> Yeah, uh... From, I don't know what the... I don't know what FWIW is. Uh, we took a break. Raffle. <coughs> but it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One. Lol. That's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Sorry guys, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Um, today I was planning to be productive, but instead I played mobile games and cried at capitalism. Is that what your why you changed your uh, Twitter handle or Twitter Twitter name? I I don't exactly know why you were crying at capitalism, but I'm sorry that you cried. Yeah, for, uh, we took a break. What time exactly did you take this break? I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. That's the time of death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. Welcome back, Abyssa. Uh, that, thank you for... Thank you for uh, letting me know that you have gone to the washroom? I guess. 
That was a month ago because my phone. Uh, was it a month ago? It feels long. It feels like a lot shorter than that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Rose, for the, the hydrate. Anyways, have you streamed today? Ow. Ow. The fucking pressure of that bottle just stuck to my upper lip. Ow. Thanks, Ebby. <laughs> I was suffering because art makers are way too... Oh, I see. Okay. Time is over, right? Okay. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. But it's only 15 minutes. 15. That's 13 in base 12. If the Wi-Fi doesn't shit itself. Okay. I hope I hope for your sake you're able to. What are you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on that table. All right, the other one was Divas. Sorry, Divasquez. Divasquez, the producer. T-bone and steak in uh, 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time. <laughs> D. Vasquez nuts. <laughs> uh, not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Edgy, I can eat it in one. Fix. I, I will. I will say, as someone who's participated in a food eating contest, it's a lot harder than you think it is, especially with the size of T-bone steaks. I don't know who this guy is, and I already hate him. <laughs> that's that's only enough time if you eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets uh, through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to bring any kind of useful information out of. All I have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. How great is that all? Final, I am half feral whenever I get a T-Bone steak, I'll record it. Okay, so, this this is a story, and Moise can attest to how disgusting I looked. Uh, I participated in, in the States in a uh, food eating competition of eating five pounds of food in 20 minutes, which included like a foot-long hot dog, chili cheese fries, uh, like a thick milkshake, and something else, I can't remember. Uh, but I was given all like a bunch of water bottles. Yeah, my gut, five pounds of food does not sound like a ton, and it's not if you don't eat it in 20 minutes. If you take longer than 20 minutes, you'll be fine. But I basically busted my gut trying to to get it done, and, and I, I ended up with a free t-shirt. It was it was worth. I still have the t-shirt too. It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. What am I supposed to do? Why is that? Oh. Did I miss a press? Okay. Have we had enough of this point in the line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. 
Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Since the time conceived, I think I can do it in five or less. Okay. I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> I'm sure that will kiss you in the mouth and steal your... Bless, bless your ass, Fix. Bless your ass. Um, the problem is, I don't know what I should be doing here because... The, the camera only recorded one a person going one way. If if they if they if they only went one way, think outside the box. They claim someone went from trailer to studio one. So the person who killed Hammer was inside the studio the whole time. Is Studio One where the, the trailer is? No. Maybe he should play Dangan? I've, I've considered it. If I could get a ROM for it, I definitely would. Hmm. Studio Two is the trailer. Yeah, because it's... Again, do not get attached to any character? Oh, whatever. Find all your full health, take the hit. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I'm just trying to think of like the proper response for this. Because I'd rather get my thinking all set and done, that way I can actually win this trial. It couldn't tough. The monkey's head was blocking the way. And uh no, they could they could walk. You know what? Yes. If I agree to let everyone in that trial off trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, a murder is a certainly a possibility. Excuse me, in Danganronpa, don't get in touch any character, not even the protagonist. Why do you why do you say things like like that? That spoils basically everyone's going to fucking die. I suppose you might say that. All right, I've got the I've got the judge thinking now. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh fuck. It's not a spoiler. It's a game about murder. Yeah, but that that, that spoils like who gets murdered basically. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, uh, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. Surely knew that from 2.15 to... Fuck. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path, yeah. Oh no, Wi-Fi is shitting. Oh no! I hope, I hope, I, I, like is there like a blockade or something? Are you able to reset the router? True, the break in the trailer ca came right at the time of death. However, the path from hit there... <laughs> the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mist Mrs. Monkey's head was barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No kind of argument, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. Ah, oh, fuck. 
You never know. It's it's a spoiler if you see for sure. All right. Hey, Dunkachi, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the sand. What? It's over? Phoenix Wright Gaming? Yep. Uh, this is one of the few, uh, one of the several games in circulation alongside uh, West of Loathing and Legends Arceus right now. Aceming. Oh, by the way, uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me do a quick check to make sure what the day was. Okay, so yeah, uh, while while Dunkachi is here, Thursday, Dunkachi and I are going to be collabing, probably the most chaotic. Uh, round of uh, Wind Waker randomizer that I have ever done. <laughs> Thirst day. <laughs> I get it. Cause ocean. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Drakengard. I've heard of that game. Support your homies. Yep. That's 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 the way, basically. Dunkachi kind of hot. Ebby, keep it in your pants. <laughs> Ebby... But I'm hot. I'm I'm literally a burning copper. Uh, I don't want to say copper bar because I don't know for the bar. <laughs> this is a Christian Minecraft server. Fuck that noise. Uh, give us a yeah. Okay, so all that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one that did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we did indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Oh, shit. Please do not fuck the noise. Okay. <laughs> I'ma fuck the piano. <laughs> uh, the prosecution. Okay, the witness. Is 4x weak to ground? No. I have levitate. I don't know actually if I I don't know if I have levitate. Are we all weak to ground? I guess. If I throw mud at somebody, they're probably gonna get knocked unconscious. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. If I hit you with a rock, you might die. But that's a rock, that's not ground. Order I will have order, I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. What if I'm flying type, try throwing rod at me? But if you throw rod, then it's rock, uh, rock type. Because gro ground moves are all like ground or internal, uh, internal to the earth. Rock moves are all... Uh, Launched, uh, launched, uh, I guess, rocks and whatnot, rocks and ground pieces. <laughs> we'll throw sand into your eyes. The, the only one I can't explain is mud shot. I don't know why, why that's a, a, a ground type. Dragon Card 3 is one of the most slept on games I've played. It was swept under the rugs because it came out as the PS3's lifespan ended. Ooh. Is that why I see you playing, uh, or, uh, I guess I shouldn't say that on stream. What do we do now, Mia? If every one of that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. 
Mia, don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on trial before, not while there was a chance. The only thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are children everywhere, after all. Burning Sand is also a ground type. Burning Sand uh, causes uh, scorched sands beneath the, the opponent's feet, usually. When, when, it's, when it's done, like, aesthetically, as, like, special effects and whatnot, yeah, it's above ground. Imagine being limited by the boundaries of types. <laughs> I, you, thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witnesses are a uh, great schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edward taking him. Oh, fuck. He's gonna. Oh, I'm gonna get penalized out the fucking wazoo. Prize of Fire Steel type. What be light magic be? Fairy or psychic? Psychic. Anything magical is psychic. Fair. Dark and fairy is actually quite interesting if you look at the moves. Dark is all about doing, uh conniving moves, I guess. Like, fake out, knock off, uh, what was it? Faint attack. Like, all of the, all of those are basically, like, bites, yeah, it's all basically, uh, cruel moves. And then, uh, fairy type is basically the opposite. Except a little bit more dangerous. It's, it's out, it's out and about, but it's, it's a little bit more playful. Like, uh, play rough, or Oh fucking what was that one? Baby doll eyes or I see Edward taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls in Cody Hack Cody Hackins to the stand. Oh. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh right. Guard, please bring up a box. One of those donut crates should do. Why do we have donut crates in, in the fucking courthouse? Well, the witness state his name and, and grade in school. Witness. What, just because you're all grown up doesn't mean don't mean you can push me around. Ha! Edgeworth totaled by a kid. Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. <laughs> I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. Really? I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, or I mean Cody. He's having trouble with his gentle thing. Were you present, or you were at the Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident? You got a problem with that. Please tell us what you saw that day. What, pops? You want to you want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentlemen myself. A very long day. Edgeworth gets fired. Speedrun. Nice. I I I don't know how that's gonna fare. Incidentally. Uh, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Hm. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify, he couldn't bring it. 
I like special bar mission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you, you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? <laughs> that was so cruel. Oh, that was so well timed. Wow. Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if you had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of it in the court record. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody, please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow. If I had my camera with me, that would have been a time for the shot, I tell you. He said he has his camera with him. Without a skateboard, Tony Hawk just looks like a normal dude. I wonder if her Tony Hawk is like a super nice guy. <laughs> I saw the Steel Samurai doing your mama. Nice. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle, remember you're talking to a child. This, is, this kid is tougher than uh, most adults we've seen here, honestly. Didn't he support NFTs though? Did he? That's, that's the first I've heard of that. I want to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Found a map. Alright, so I'm thinking... I'm gonna press on this, though. You got us in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? Maybe I don't look... Uh, maybe I don't look too deep into it? Okay. Totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Can I press on this one? That's what a bad guy was said. A guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. There sure was a guy. I don't know, he was kind of far away. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, he kind of didn't move, not a bit, like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot, I tell ya. If you had your camera? I mean, you weren't carrying your camera then. No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess the killing freaked him out and then he so he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. This kid saw someone die and he's being perfectly calm about it. Video games! <laughs> Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. 
Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Oh, that is a horrifying fucking face. <laughs> Yo, this dude dropped dead like in COD. <laughs> That's the funny thing is, I could see Moist saying that as a kid. He he was addicted to Call of Duty. From World at War all the way up until Black Ops 3, I want to say. Moist always got every single Call of Duty. I don't think he got big into it much anymore. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contrap? Geezer moment! It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new, so new sort of... How fucking far back was this game? How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody... I can't, I can't believe you wouldn't uh, bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... What the, the fuck? <laughs> Wait, the judge is actually pipe. Okay, give me a second. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney, no one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So, you did have a camera. Okay, give me a second here. Oh fuck, give me a uh, this this joke will be worth it, I promise. <laughs> Cody is to be arrested for contempt of court immediately. I wouldn't go that far. Is he getting fucking fired? Find out immediately he has a two-week nose. W why? <laughs> if the joke isn't funny, I'm up something. Okay. Uh, let's see. Image. Image. Browse. Downloads. Why is it so fucking huge? Why does these uh, jokes take so fucking long? Uh, what is transform? Am I just stupid? There we go. There we go. There we go.
damn it didn't work nearly as well as I thought it would. There we go. <laughs> so, did you have a camera? <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the All Achievement series. Today we're prosecuting somebody. Let's begin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that, that was such a shit joke and I apologize for that one. So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? <laughs> Why would I use it? Actually, no. Let, let me let me let me find like the stupidest thing uh, that the judge can possibly say, and then I'll uh, I'll, I'll Photoshop his face onto or put his face onto it. it made me laugh. It's not semantic. Thanks, Raxus. Thanks, thanks everybody for laughing at my stupid jokes. Why would I use it? I I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The steel samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wham. Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The samurai rule. The steel samurai rules. <laughs> hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yeah, I had my camera with me. I'm gonna start pressing shit. I don't get this one. Why don't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Wait, BRB, let me get some red. Okay, okay. Also, thanks for typing that completely out. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, I'm, I, I can't do his voice for too long, because I basically have to pinch my. Uh, I, I, I can't, I'm not good at making like making his voice, because I basically have to pinch my, uh, my, uh, my throat, just so I can like get the like the. Grading and uh, the grading inflections. Let's begin. I don't know. Yeah, my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. So you're watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. Road to 2000 Elo. <laughs> you didn't turn away, not even once. No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy, wham. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see him. What happened next? Was he a human person? He was an animal! A robot! A cyborg! And then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. Now exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. Still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Cody. What? Oh, fuck, my right click's still on. <laughs> bribe the child. <laughs> Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? 
Yeah, you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? My point is this. Cody, Co Cody? Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fights. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. I'm private by promising the murder weapon. <laughs> Phoenix raises a, uh, raises a murderer. Episode 1. I give him weapon. <laughs> Order, order. Mr. Wright? How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know, you, you can figure this out. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Robbery is a federal offense, which is ironic. I'm saying this. I joked about arresting a child for contempt of court ten minutes ago. Nice. Um. He was watching something else, maybe. Samurai Spear. Oh yeah, because if he said he's, he's punching and kicking, uh, then why he wouldn't be able to use evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Okay, now I'm divided because there's two possibles. Oh, wait. Contains photos of every victory scene in every battle of Seal Samurai's won. Scrapbook, scrapbook. Rose, I have a question for you. Are you telling me that it's the right one? Rose, you've said you've 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 seen playthroughs of this game before, or played it, right? Okay. Yeah, it might be that. That's... Here's my proof. Proof? Um, okay, so I guess not. Can I do that again? This doesn't prove anything. Ha! Lost your nerve, have you? Very well, ask the question again. Investor Ted, this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He was watching something else. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else, probably. Probably? Something else? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Hm. Do you have another explanation for this? You 
couldn't watch it? Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch murder taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. Okay. Uh... Hmm. He's watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Dude, this Wi-Fi. Did you... Did you res it's been buffering for three minutes. Uh, have you reset the, the router at all? My advice is bad because I don't know shit about the series. Okay. Is, is Twitch just having problems? Because on my end, I'm not dropping any frames. Oh, is this the new fucking API shit that Twitch is trying to integrate? Not much lag on my end. Okay. I know that Twitch, like, I had to update OBS to a certain thing, because Twitch was like, oh yeah, you have to do this or else we're not going to be able to connect to OBS to, to Twitch, which is, okay. Or else the fight the more you would have watched. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Welcome to the bread bank. Bread bank and beyond. What kind of bread you get? Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We have ascertained the boys. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Why did Cody look away from the fight? Do you have gluten free? We got bread on deck, bread on the floor. Here, oh, I just randomly guessed. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Bulls. Okay, so I... None of, none of what I had previously done was right at all. Finally, I can't believe I haven't... I haven't... You haven't seen that vid. Uh... Let me say it so I can post it on memes. Okie doke. I appreciate that. What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying clearly. Smart of you to realize that there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero. And not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason he would have looked away from the fight. And that was because he wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix? I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Mia means business. Your Honor? The defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. I'm gonna take a quick drink. All this talking always drains my mouth of fluids. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. Escaped from the clutches? So I held my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Oh, something else happened. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with a cross-examination anyways. Pose it, thank you. I'll look at it after stream. 
Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai had just escaped. I want to press on this one. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. So I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. The limp? I feel like it's a little bit more than the limp if it's completely moving strangely. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the Steel Samurai. That's all that happened. Yep. That's all? Y yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one. Press him hard. Now he definitely would have taken a picture. I saw a god. What would a god look like? Was she pretty? <laughs> if, 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 if you want to piss off a lot of Christians, that's what you say. <laughs> yeah, so if 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 you if you if you're like talking with a Christian and you're like Oh yeah, what 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 do you like oh yeah we're talking about like God and like what they look like and whatnot. Just go, so what do you think she looks like? Because a lot of Christians have this like really toxic masculinity kind of like aspect to like uh like I guess God and whatnot. So I just or yeah or they, yeah. Like it really gets them. You'd be getting banned from all the churches in my country. Assert dominance. <laughs> There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey. Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. I just killed a kid's dreams. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Holy it was too late. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai, Victorious? Well, you know. Why would I want to keep a picture like that? He's becoming less and less... <laughs> Drop kicking a child in court. <laughs> I better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? Has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what his kid's all about. No, I fucking didn't mean to press. Maybe you drop kick that child in self defense. Yeah. Cody. What? And every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I'd find it to be hard to believe you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. 
He claims it's a perfect collection of every sam of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Uh, among all of these pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No wait, no way. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. Yeah, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Oh, fuck. I think I know what just went on. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture of the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased photos he took? Steel Samurai did not win. I can only think of one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way, no. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. Ever. Your Honor? The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit that what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth! Order! I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Oh shit. Cody. That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? Okay, okay. You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have made uh, all made a serious error. An error. What's this all about? The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order. So, the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying this man in the co- this- The man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through this morning. Uh, thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But wait, had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see a? Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. 
and he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I... don't know. I get it. I thought the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Ah, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. What? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like this. Now. Here, this is it. Okay, so it's the... It's in front of Studio 2. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like the proof we need. Oh, oh sorry. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix? Yeah, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive consistency with the facts that we know them in that photo. I want to say it's the two? Thanks for the caucus fix. I see. A gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? I believe Master Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but... That's impossible. What's all this about? Please explain so that I may be shocked along with the rest of the court. Anyways. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here, in Studio One. What, we, what, we, what do we see in the photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one at the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Here, at Studio 2. I see, that would explain the two on the gates, in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held on that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Dave Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path of the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could have not gone to Studio 1. Yet in actual actuality, the reverse is true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this uh, murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Order, order. The defense makes all the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. 
person that security guard Miss Olbeck saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. Objection. This is madness! Yes, yes, Sparta, oh, sorry. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. I'm checking something quickly. Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole this costume. I don't have proof. Proof? Uh-oh, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that. Phoenix? Even if you're not 100% sure, you have to try. And I think you've got proof that's good enough to win them over. Just go for it, all or nothing. Gaming. Gaming. <laughs> Thank you, Gumbo. How's it going, dude? Thank you so much for the sub. I greatly appreciate that. Six months? That's half a year. You've, you joined around when the Golden Marshmallow first started. Welcome, welcome. Or I guess you subbed as long as the Golden Marshmallow. I guess that would be a more apt description. Just go for it. All or nothing. Grimble, grumble. <laughs> the Spurs jingle jangle. Jingle Sorry. Anyways, uh, what have you been up to today, Gumbo? Your Honor, this Mr. Wright? Actually, I do have proof. Here's my proof that Jack Hummer stole the costume. I'm way too invested in a bunch of cartoon frogs. Nice. Thanks. Iron unironically, Amphibia good. <laughs> uh, I want to say it's this one. Because he's limping, so... It should be this one. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer's and uh, Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. This, the label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Now he's back to watching frogs. Okie doke. Thank you for the lurk, Gumbo. I appreciate it. Wait a moment, that bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on the bottle. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The Steel Samurai seemed uh, by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, uh, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did not have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the sam steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. More trial? Oh, shit. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to uh, reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Why did you steal the costume? Who killed him? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's try to let's let's try to actually get like this this chapter done, and then we'll I'll call it quits.
Like I mean the end like the end of the, the, the last trial. October nineteenth, two forty seven PM. District Court defendant lobby number one. Woo! That was a close one. We were saved by hair, but that's all that counts. Chapter speedrun. I'm not speedrunning. I wanna I wanna savor the flavor. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Going home? You're fucking dead, Mia. Me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to p uh, pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Dead? Ho oh, ho, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. Sorry. October 19th, 3.27 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Maya! Honestly, I'm kind of glad Maya is back. I'm getting a little sick of the day Sek Machina. So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Yeah, I, I, I got really sick of the, like... I, I'm a little sick of the booba. Actually, I was just about to say, I am. I did get a little bit of uh, a little bit sick of uh, booba coming to try to say come to the rescue. I know it's not like me as defining characteristic, but it's it's fucking anime games and like you you know you know how they accentuate fucking everything. But whatever. And I know Mia's Mia as Mia. I I before like she was just like Deus Ex Machina. I did kind of like Mia. But, I mean, she doesn't have enough character development other than uh, this constantly guiding force that uh, that just won't seem to stay dead, I guess. Under the initial trial system, uh, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system that they decided to speed the whole process up. So on that system, trials have to end in three days. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. I mean, she's fucking dead. Yeah, but she keep, they keep bringing her fucking back. That's the problem. I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> Next AA title, Mia, please stay dead. We'll have to see. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die. Oh, shit. <laughs> Death by granny. <laughs> Woo, she's alive. Producer Vesquez. I was wondering about Deep uh, Vesquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like for the producer? 
Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. <laughs> no one touches my fucking donuts. Can I ask you about Salmonella Director? Sal? He's soft, a pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. <laughs> huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no, it doesn't, Maya. But Mr. Hammer. Ah, I heard about what you said today. Cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, uh, I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal powers as cost him so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Alright. Thanks for the good talks. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the steel samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. No, it's left. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Please don't ever call him chat ever again. Why? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't have the face saved on my OBS anymore, so you're 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 good. Hey Nick, it's Miss Vesquez. Hello? Hello. My, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. I don't like her. That's all she had to say, apparently? Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something next, she's really ticking me off. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it. Nick, she did it, she's the killer. The fey blood speaks to me. I know I know it, I know it. Oh no. I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves. Oh, oh dear. An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. I'm taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Trailer door. It's locked. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. I guess there's fucking nothing here. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spend that much money on those sets.
Uh, give me a word related to religion and morals. Hmm, devotion. Are you doing a uh, semantal? Penis. <laughs> Dick and balls. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. The glass is frosted. I can't see it outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes me makes it feel like winter's coming. An old movie poster. The Singing Samurai starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god. Four point four four. What what was what was devotion score? Religious is a fifty one point thirty four. Did you try devotion? The movie was the best. It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars. What next? Ninja Ballet? Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. Typical summer romance. With a samurai on a horse? An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. Like, these images kind of make it look like they're from, uh... Uh, wiki how. You know what I mean? Then I'm at Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cuts and a crumpled documents. Is there really fucking nothing in here? Hmm. Yes, I can see it. <laughs> She's not even looking. Oh. Okay, hey, you look. Why are you showing that to me, Nick? <laughs> Someone's gotta fucking pay attention. There's a big tube painted here. So this is the number in Cody's photograph. And to think if you hadn't brought that photograph in, don't get ulterior yet. A light fan for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it would run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Oh. We've already been through this, I guess. This is where Salmonella and D. Vesquez ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-Bone Steaks too. Something wrong? I don't know, I'm getting this funny feeling. Something about it just feels odd, you know? Can't say that I do. There's a big two painted here. Okay. I guess not here. Actually, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, present. I don't know. Uh, I guess we should probably go look at the other, uh, other studio, or the employee area. I mean. October 19, Global Studios employee area. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. 
This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see the f them film later. I guess. Alright, I gave up to see the word. There was a give up button. Moist will know. Is he doing that right now? I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yar! No, 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 no touching. Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. I didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. Eh. I guess I can be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Ahem. Anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. What are you looking for? Sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. These react to the sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. Wow, me. Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing on the uh, solution on the plate changed color, all right? So the food on this place had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. What goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we, we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is it worth doing anyways? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Actually goaded. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about burn spell. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles. Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jackhammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Hell yeah, I'm actually... I'm glad the game just shouldn't be like, no, it was... It was Will Powers drugging himself. Like, I... Okay. Remains of the employee lunch are scattered around. Everyone was too shocked to clean up. Let's keep on one of the plates, minus the steak. Let's see, cola candy, chips, gum, huh? It's so normal. Sign on the dressing room door. Huh? What powers? So must be neat to be the star of your own room like this. <sighs> Sorry, son. Son of a bitch. The dressing rooms like this are kind of lonely, aren't they? I'm sure Mr. Powers will be back soon. He'll be fine. Y yeah. Mr. Powers is back. I hope WP can come pick it up himself soon. Soon, soon. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Well, we can be pretty sure uh, WP did take a nap here, like he said. I'm not sure about being drugged as taking a nap. There's some regular suits in amongst the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes.
There's a box for snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Hmm. It's completely empty. <laughs> I can feel Maya's eyes burning into the back of my neck. There's an array of cosmetics here. This is the wig to use in the Samurai Boogie Woogie. I fucking hate that. Wow, you remembered, Nick. Thanks to you. They always have uh, mirrors like this in the dressing room. I always check my hair too when I look in a mirror. Hmm, not as quite as spiky as usual, I see. It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do now. Let's go to the, det the detention center and see what happens. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make a count. Yes. Though there's not really anything I can do to help. Ha ha ha, I'm not really sure what I can do either. Thanks, Maya, for being useful. Please, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vesquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody does tell her, dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its, knee, was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... and what? Nothing, forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, well, he used to be a minor straight to video editor. Something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everybody knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine being at a beck and call, though I can't imagine him jumping. Twitch chat can't jump. Sorry. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped talking. He just stopped talking, taking on big roles. Sorry, Sphix, you love me, right? I hope you love me, at least. That's when he began appearing in Little Productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to the sequel to uh, Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, I was right when Miss Vesquez came to Global. Yes, I do, don't worry. Thanks, Sphix. I love you, too. <laughs> Thank you the bus check. Lamal the water noises. I I, I okay. Oh. <sighs> I'll go some bones in the back. Hmm. 
schnell wirken. What am I supposed to do? Holy fuck, even I needed that bone check. I'm glad you stretch too. I'm glad other people do stretch. Fucking... Close inspection, this trailer looks like it's been on here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film. Okay, I'm for you. I am kind of lost again. I'm Miss Old Big. What do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the sam steal samurai costume? What you mean, Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah, Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why did he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer had to be one of them. Really? Why? Because real estate of the crime was Studio 2 where the trailer is. Any ideas? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? Can't see what's going on when Maya is or Mia is here, so no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. Alright, so let's go to... Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way to be. Sorry. Have you seen this, Mr. Powers? What's that? I've never seen these steel samurais in my life. These are the steel samurais that appear in live shows. A fanboy collected all these pictures himself. Seeing things like this really makes me think. I mean to so much to these kids, you know? heavy, that spear. It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think an average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear of something that broke through the uh, morning run-through. Oh yes, I goofed on a round kick, you see? I broke the spear. I love how Powers looks like a buff werewolf, but he has a personality of a teddy bear. I think that's why I love him so much. I, I've, I've always liked the, char like the character trope of massive guy to, uh, like, tiny kitten soul kind of thing. I, I always like that. Security lady, fix it for me right away, though. With duct tape. Weird.
Here's that picture again. Is that really Jack Hammer inside the suit? He's the only one who could have been... But why would he... Yeah, why? You're the medium. Why don't you summon up Mr. Hammer's spear and ask him yourself? Give me about three more years. Look at us, the two novices. Okay, so that doesn't help. I'm wondering if I should uh, start showing shit to that woman. Uh, what about this dinner? Okay, fuck. Fuck off! Just... I'm fucking stuck here. Why am I why am I stuck here? Oh, uh actual on present. All right, fuck off. Um, this will What am I missing? This will beg what? Yo, get that filth out of my sight. You're claiming that poor old hammer's in there. And I thought we were such an innocent youth. Bah. Looks like Will Powers was drugged. I'm gonna go back to the precinct to do more detailed tests. You're being very free with your information today, Detective. Well, don't go telling anyone this, pal. But I was kind of impressed at today's trial, too. Most lawyers would have given up after that director's testimony. I think it would have been anybody but you up there. Powers have been done for by now. Detective about the bottle. Oh, that? Talk about embarrassing, pal. Can't believe I missed that on my first sweep before evidence. I don't know how I could apologize to Mr. Edgeworth. It must be tough being a detective with all that responsibility. Oh, haha. <laughs> Still lying there. Ah, they've seen wisdom at last. They know if they fix it, they just I just kick it off again. That poor assistant. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage, whatever. Looks like one of those electric power bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Window into the dressing room. The grass is frosted so I can't see inside. 
the door to the dressing room, it's not locked. What the fuck am I missing? Oh fuck! <sighs> Why the fuck did that scare me? Hello, Penny. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be needing it, using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes. And I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. Welcome to AA, the unexpected horror game. I just wasn't expecting her to jump out. I was expecting to come here to, into an empty room. <laughs> I was going to do another sweep, see if I could lost something, but... This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the steel. Uh, he stole the steel samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Oh. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt, you know, bad stuff. I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring uh, Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accidents happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left behind the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? What do you mean the last, the, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever, whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. They're making porn! <laughs> What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what uh, Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio Big Wigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget uh, all this ever happened. They want the, uh, they want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. These kids love the Steel Samurai. Show couldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Okay, but realistically, I do kind of think Penny's cute. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Sorry, give me a second here.
Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the uh, producer, Miss Veska, has managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vez Veska has asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who's more? You know who more, knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studio back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Thank you, Penny. Finally, some actual progress in this damn story. <laughs> what, you're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made, made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. He's starting to froth of the mouth, Nick. She has rabies! Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Uh-oh. Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Benny Nichols. That, that assistant we talked to. Alright, anyway, we heard about it, the accident. <clears throat> it was during the filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers, dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun. No, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. You claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. I'm sorry, Mr. O Miss Oldbeck, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. Ha. I bet pow Powers put that in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have had trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof Mr. Hammer put the pills in. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. Uh-oh. She's going nuclear. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. This old bike? Oh. Okay, you win, I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an incident. A fatal incident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. Uh... We've won! Yay! Yay! She sounds that paparazzi. That was the beginning. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anybody. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. Enormous old bag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh, shit. Hmm. 
Wait a second, this is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to... <laughs> Look at this photograph! Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> Did Hammer kill a man? Looks like it. Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't f feel much like talking about it. I understand. Mama! Oh, I was gonna do the next time, but you guys would have probably taken that out of contents. Alright, then we can take this on now. Buster Jack and Hydrate. How would you guys feel if I tried to commission a uh, an Elo uh, Elo Kazoo Jam? Would would that be something you guys would be interested in? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got her. That would be incredible. <laughs> She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? I well, old bag. Old? She means security, Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind? The... Huh? She definitely killed him? I'm thinking that too. If she has ties with the Mafia, I think... Like, she... She she got someone to off him. It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Oh, shit. Wait, is this a trap? I don't think it would be a trap. No, maybe it's a trap. <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix, get your gun! <laughs> hmm, you came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing uh, Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't ya? That's why he was doing kid kid shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? You know, it's even fucking creepier when she's looking directly at me. What do you mean? Must I spell out everything for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That's what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought him that f brought that photo into the studio. 
She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He, would have, he could have made a copy. She killed him too, not Hammer? Maybe? Oh, thank you, General, for the hydrate. Also, General, how's it going? I'm good, that's good to hear. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh, fuck. I'm about to die. <laughs> um... Who are they? Professionals? They're good at erasing various things. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you think? Would you like to be erased? Uh, what? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Nope, oh, thank you for the second hydrate, I guess. Liquid. <laughs> Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a. Oh, sorry. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vesquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, race away. Hold it right there. Oh shit! I would like to be erased, thank you very much. No, Sphix, you're not being erased. I fucking love Gumshoe! I heard everything, pal. Okay, but this, I don't think this would be Deus Ex Machina, because it's like an actual cop doing his business. Deus Ex Machina is when, like, something interjects that doesn't make any fucking sense. I will fake my death and you can't stop me? No. T. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Still plot armor? Pl plot armor and uh, Deus Ex Machina is not the same. But yeah, I definitely agree with plot armor. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. The face of those mafia members look really drawn, I guess. Detective Gumshoe? So it's just, I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we run into, run, we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. Fucking, yeah! Oh, I'm so glad Gumshoe came in out of nowhere. Well, I, I guess he was that he was listening in. Fuck, I love Gumshoe. All right, this is for all the marbles for today. Courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He 
claims that the scene of the crime was in fact a studio too. Today we'll call uh, on people uh, present to the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge worth today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Is that worse? Try and say the photo you have is fake. I don't think so. Because it was the first decisive piece, so I don't think... If he breaks that, the, a lot of the foundation of everything else kind of cracks apart. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. The first normal answer. <laughs> Vasquez will not Edgeworth? Okay. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's not guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a second. Mafia? She she's a part of the mafia? The a, a part of the mafia? It, mafia moment? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm such a shitlord. <laughs> she has more more power than Pipe, let's be fair. I guess? I mean, I've never seen a Mafia have five members, so. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp, and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks at the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. <laughs> Let's make our own mafia then. We already have a frog called. We don't need more. <laughs> and don't say frog mafia. <laughs> That's just fucking weird. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. Though it might be risky to walk with that monkey's head toppling over. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Uh, why not upgrade the cult to a mafia? That's downgrading. There's a trailer a little before noon. What are you doing there? By yourself? Yes. You didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> Is it welfare we stay called? Okay, okay. It goes, gang, mafia, cult, coven. No, coven before cult. Actually, no, it goes there. <laughs> Anyways. They begin at 12 sharp and end at 4. No one le did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> Toad Coven. Uh. What exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I think it would be between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the out. Hello, I'm leaving right after this. I just need to check Discord because I said you something very important. Okay. Hope you have a good. Hope you have a good night, uh, Allie. As to piss on her. What? Oh, I would bang my desk, piss on the desk to piss her. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm a, I'm a petty bitch by nature. Nice. <laughs> piss on her to assert dominance. So, so we've had uh, gay posing and pissing on people to assert dominance. I like this. <laughs> I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Phoenix Animator. Thank you so much for the, the uh, follow. Welcome to becoming a bonfire, buddy. How's it going? You can tell I'm on my way to rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> gay posing and, and pissing on people. <laughs> what a glorious life that is. Sorry, I'm just trying to clear my phone. It's going nuts. 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the evening. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the the devs knew what the hell they were doing. Oh, oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed during that break. My nose just erupted in blood, holy crap. Oh, dude, are you okay? Did you, like, hit it or something? She wouldn't have had t t time to eat a T-bone steak. But I had some some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, not find anything? It's kind of wish she'd said a little bit more. It's hard. I think she's used to being the boss. I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction. Oh, I know what! No, nothing happened. Blood just decided to make blood. <laughs> uh, I hope I hope it like uh, heals up soon. Just keep your head tilted back. Plug. Uh, keep keep your nose loosely plugged so you can actually have decently breathe. Ah, as I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. Let's just down, Mr. Wright. Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vesquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vesquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. <laughs> you didn't eat the steak. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. Oh, we're breaking her down. Eat the bones. 
Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Ooh, got her. Order, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. And she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Mr. Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. The hero I was warning that today would be boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? It is a battle of wits and you ain't come I came unprepared. No. I am smart. Uh, she couldn't. I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Oh, it was the fence! That's why it's bent! What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fate. Oh, fuck off. Right, here's the real evidence. I can prove the samurai spear was not the... Did she hit him with the van? Motherfucker. Okay. I present my proof the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this? Through the chest. Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Why? Why? Man, Ed Edgeworth is just being shot down. I gotta feel bad for him. It's also perfectly clean blade. And there was also no blood. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon it was? You used to kill Miss Hammer? Yes, I can. I would make a claim like that. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? We're afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Now it's the old photo? Look at this. Look at this photograph. What is this? Why, it's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright. 
This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of what this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fall see the fallen men in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest. Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Oh shit. Lamal fucking alley? What what's going on? She showed me what she sent to you. Yeah. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vesquez meets a uh, Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done uh, himself done five years ago. You'd think they would remove that fucking fence. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho oh, ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use like a, a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet yeah, the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Welcome to rampant capitalism or something. <laughs> She didn't turn Mafia grunts, did. Maybe? Could Jack Hammer have been used to push... have been pushed off the stairs to his death? And carried a studio in one place inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how, how could she have dealt with the body? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body? Other than with her own hands? for instance. Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. There gots to be another way. Huh. How's it going, uh, Sai? How's, how, how, how have you been doing? Please show us how she, how she carried the body. Miss Vesquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. Could be better, but I'm alright. What's up, man? Uh, or, uh, you f feel free to talk about whatever you want here if it's something's bothering you. But no worries if not. Everybody has their own private lives. I just hope things get better for you. Call your testimony. Supposed to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we, we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had, van I had Sal drive me. Now uh, there's just a party going on. I'm waiting for the food to come. Oh, I see. Okay. What kind of food? Pizza? Wings? Uh, charcuterie? Something good? You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before anyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. That being said, I got a great view of the sunset earlier. Nice! One of the guys is bringing Chick-fil-A. Nice, but also, eh... First off, not the biggest fan of Chick-fil-A. 
Second off, not the biggest fan of the company, Chick-fil-A. There's also pizza. Hell yeah, okay, that's that's the shit I'm talking about. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course, Sal Manella ha has to have been a, con a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and uh, put into the costume. There, were, there was no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it on that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. That's uh, somewhere of the plan. <laughs> just, just eat everything. <laughs> eat everything. Eat the people. Eat, eat your party games. Eat everything. Consume. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Is she allowed to smoke, be smoking in a courtroom? It's... Yeah, she's vaping. I don't know. I feel like she shouldn't be allowed to smoke in a courtroom on trial. I don't think so either. So, what happens next? Don't question mark me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jackhammer. What the fuck is going on? Who can s s who can say? What the fuck? Are you sure I did? If we'll be honest, some of the stuff would never hurt to fly in a normal courtroom. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't ever fly in a courtroom, I meant. Now, want some sausage? What kind of sausage are you thinking? It's fix. I personally am a sun dried and tomato, sun dried tomato and basil sausage kind of guy. Pork, of course. That shit is banger. Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you prove the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Uh, ah! Alright, BRB, okie doke. Enjoy your food, Sai. Whatever I get my gremlin hands on. Huh. Is that worth your thoughts? Um, uh, uh... Of course, as that's the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well... I came here as a witness. If you got no more questions, I'll be leaving. Erk, what do I do now? What are you talking about, Rose? Miss Vasquez, you did it. That wasn't a question. Um, did you do it? No. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to a verdict. What do I do now? Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've seen Suction Cup, man. I'm just wondering what you were... Wh why you were quoting. Just man under ceiling, clearly. <laughs> Alright, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what would, what's the point? 
I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. Sorry, I thought I just heard something. You always look at Bread Bank later? I will. What would happen if I said it again? You ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn, to come so far only to fail. You can't be on the ceiling if you remove the ceiling from the equation. <laughs> I'd like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vesquez. What the fuck, Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. Hello, Ska. How's it going? Thank you for the poster check. Oh, boy. I cannot wait to get a proper desk and computer chair. Excuse me, I might have to actually remove poster check. I see. Very well. Thanks, okay. <laughs> Proper chairs are so good. Yeah, but I'm sitting in a recliner that has a busted back that leans about 20 degrees too far back. Keep it, I must get all the bones. Alright. I request that the witness testify again. <laughs> You're the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in uh, ma making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What do you think Pokemon Gen 9 will be when it gets revealed this year? I, I hope they don't. My hope is that Pokemon, when they, when they announce things, will go back to the Ore region. I want to see a sequel to... A sequel or remaster to Pokemon XD. That is my hope. And you know, I will... Uh, practically shit my trousers if I uh if, if, if they announce Pokemon XD remastered I hope they don't me at life <laughs> I too see a little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself what exactly did you want her to testify about <laughs> well yes Edgeworth you keep ruining the good song indeed fairly I say Ergero I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that he says he always gets a gu guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth? After finding the body... I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he didn't. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to grab my script and direction notes. Then I went home. The only thing that strikes me as odd is that uh, she she went to get her notes and left. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you want to put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick.
I was gonna say give her a purple nerf, but that's just wrong. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. Alright, right. right. <laughs> Twister deck! <laughs> I was with Sound Old Beck, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember? What? There was a dead body laying in front of us, yet you expected me to be calm. Give her a purple as a purple as my necklace, Nick. <laughs> I should add, like, uh, a $25,000 sound clip that's just, Twist his dick! Twist his dick! Well, final be turn, uh, turning into Pokemon Presents on Sunday. I don't know. Maybe? What time is it? Like, what time is the presentation? This really seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Press harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Why don't you normally go looking for the missing person? I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without a steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Oh, I feel bad for him. 9 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Eastern. Maybe? I might, I, might, I might just do a small viewing in my in my Discord or something if I'm awake by that time. Yes, Mr. Bank, I would like to request a loan of 25 whatever whatever final set dollars. <laughs> 25,000. Also, did I say dollars? I meant, I meant channel points. Poor powers. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I merely called the police, then Powers showed up. Security lady Old Big became quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. Old Big, the security lady. Oh, yeah, 60k. Nice. Why did the security lady say, uh, think Powers had done it? She said that, uh,. She said because she saw him going towards the studio. Right, the Steel Samurai. The detective arrests uh, Miss, Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word. Perhaps not. She seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all of this after the fact. That photograph, meaning one person, the one taken by security camera. She's not known for uh, exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to hammer. I don't think there's anything I can use. I was left to be asked. I was asked. I asked left to be at whatever. You asked to be left out. Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot writing on it with all those big wigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require uh, questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. This is the one that causes me concern. The script and direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. I w it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. Oh, I... I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Very well. Miss Vesquez, please continue. Yeah, I was gonna say something seems weird because 
she she forgot her notes. Everybody went over to the rehearsal, and then she says, "Oh yeah, th there was a murder." I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because it wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't we'll you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Exactly. Mr. Edgeworth, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of the course seem sees my role. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Also, why did Phoenix not notice that? I don't know. Protagonist blindness? That's usually the cause of things. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe that there would be no rehearsal. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't, I couldn't do any of this, uh, any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director. You have, some, you have to find something to peg this honor here. Or everything we've done until now would have been wasted. I believe in your neck, go get him. Bro, molding weather peg is an F droid level one. I have no idea what any of that sentence means. The only the only word word I recognize is bro, molding, and pepegas. Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was a steel samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person who was injured in the run-through that morning. I'm looking at f to see if there's an AO3 client. AO3? What's AO3? Also, what the hell is f -Droid? That's 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 why I'm confused about that entire, the entire statement. The person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. You would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. I actually didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Like the app store, but for fast stuff. Oh, okay, I see. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah, and when was he doing this? Well, it would have to be after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Ms. Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. But Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai costume, in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. 
I love how there's a far survival manual app. Oh boy. Order, order, I will have order. Witness. Can you repeat this claim? Yeah, let's see. Sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world do I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Yes, he would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? How annoyed would you be if it turned out that Hammer just tripped over the f or some? I would be a little bit upset. It would be anticlimactic as hell. I'm back. I've obtained food. Hell yeah. I'm guessing a lot of everything. In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as, as to Miss Vesca's motive in the murder. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in the murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. This is my proof. Stike! With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept out of the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the curse currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident and uh, pres hmm. sorry. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall, his fall from stardom. His guilt weighed on him, it weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, you D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for petty change, bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant, a constant source of shame for the Axe Star. One moment, Mr. Wright. We're talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Mr. Hammer. <clears throat> it almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who who got killed D. Vesquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vesquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to call Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. No clients will have to make do with a Firefox and a DOC reader. Let's hope, or a doc reader. Let's hope so. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive. He, he went for the intent of revenge, and I think she retaliated. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. Why does this song play of all things? Have y'all heard about the great engineer monkey? I have not, no. What? What? Your Honor. Jackhammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jackhammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the samurai costume. Steal samurai costume. <laughs> Jackhammer wore the costume to full security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way up to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had cruelly, take, who had 
so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. The twitch has barked. Oh. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. I am so close to removing that this fucking kazoo. This fix is doing Gobo's job? Yeah, basically. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Uh, Miss Vasquez, what? What happened here? Manuel fell from this trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Ms. Vasquez, please, try to remain calm. No, no, how could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! The engineer is the best monkey. I really have no idea what you're talking about, Gumbo. Please, please don't die. Please... Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Balloons. Oh, you know what? That would make a lot more sense. Thanks, guy. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vesquez? In the waiting lab, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That it should be found is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. I started Weir Engineer Cult and Pipes Bloomstream. Ah, that makes... You know, that makes a lot of sense with the uh, uh, Engineer Monkey, whatever. I, I don't I have I haven't played balloons ever since BTD three I think it was on mobile, which was a fuck long time ago. But farewell. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hell yeah! That is all. This court is adjourned. You're just gay for a money. <laughs> money! I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> I'm gay for free. <laughs> That is a lot of good logical choice in our capitalist society. Yeah. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as the, as the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai. I gay for free. I'm gay for men. You know, that's probably the most reasonable course of action. I thought I hallucinated that out of the corner of my eye. 
And so, he hated you. I... I think I understand. You could have just told me. I would have changed places with him at any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back to that sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? It makes it feel like Phoenix is just screaming, take that to whoever he's presenting evidence to. Including a depressed actor. <laughs> what the fuck are you going on about in chat, guys? N no, of course not. Ah! Nick, Edgeworth. He's killed a man. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. <laughs> huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? That was the fucking wrong thing to say, Phoenix. No, I really want to thank you. We're funny, Madge. Best guess would have gotten away if you, if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Ah, uh, or Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Wait. Is he a... Is he a fucking nerd? Liar. Right. I must say, I didn't expect it to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not... Had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? Which absolutely did. Yeah, it did. And holy crap, it just botched it. They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. I'm going to die by his hands. That is what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was, was that guy your friend? What friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. <laughs> huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Wait, he's the princess? I feel like Phoenix faked his death. Maybe? Enemy, enemies to lovers, 100,000 words slow burn. Hmm. Check MK. What's MK? My, you have to buy all the merch. Talking about merch. No, I'm not doing that. 
Not just trading cards, all the merch. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. The end. Yay! Oh, shit. All right, so the next one is going to be called Turnabout Goodbyes. This is where we're going to end stream. Oh, we actually did it. We actually fucking kicked his ass. We twisted her dick. <laughs> Twist her dick. Anyway, sorry. Uh, who should we raid? We have... Uh, excuse me, sorry. We have... V Turnip. Dunkachi and Bathwater Bro. <laughs> Dick's Twisted Poggers. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually name my uh my Twitch stream like Dick Twistingly Good. Excuse me, good. Why am I burping so much? So who, who okay. Put your votes in. Turnip, Dunkachi, or Bathwater Bro. I got one for Dun I guess Dunkachi. Anybody else got any, like, input? I have not timed anyone out. Oh, Okay, good, you didn't. Uh, schematics votes Turnip. So we have one for Denkachi, one for Turnip. Uh, Gumpo, Rose, Raxus, if you're still kicking about. I have, oh, come on, Gumbo. I'm busy being gay and MK, nice. Wait, is it, does that mean Mario Kart or Mortal Kombat? I vote for all of them. I don't mind who gets... You people don't help. <laughs> We're on a tight decision and everyone's just like, Oh yeah, just whoever. <laughs> um, let's see, Don Kachi's playing Genshin. Tim's playing Smash. Well, I'm also working on some okie doke. <laughs> I am dying. Uh, okay. You know, let's raid Dunkachi. He's he needs he needs some viewers. I'm sorry for not being a very decisive person. No worries, no worries. I I'm only ribbing on you guys. I don't expect you guys to do like ma maximum decision making. But I, like everybody has differences of opinions, and I'm not gonna rib on each on you guys for your opinions unless they're of course bigoted. But that's a separate matter. Um, the raid messenger. Have a good message. Uh, have a good evening. Sorry. Have a good evening. Final. Thank you, Raxus. Skiz Poggers, How dare you? <laughs> uh, what should the raid message be? Uh, oh, thank you for shouting out Skimax, and thank you for shouting out Turnip. Both of them are very close friends of mine. Uh, at least I hope so. Scare, are we good friends? <laughs> good streaming friends. As uh, the raid message will be. Uh, Y'all shut up. Okay. <laughs> All right. This 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 will be the raid message for uh, Dunkachi because he's we we're we're going from an anime game to uh to Genshin Impact, so we kind of have to uh, like slam the weebery as you know. No kakasage. 
I don't know if he has beat to TV. That's the problem. Um, but I hope everybody has a I hope has a good day and uh, take care, everyone.